All right, good afternoon traders. Today is August 13th, 2024. My name is John Carrigan. I moderate the BYOB Trading Room. Uh, thank you for everyone that showed up today in the BYOB Trading Room. We had a great day. Let's go take a look at some charts. This is the BYOB Market Wrap Up. First chart we'll look at is SPY. We'll look at it on the 10 minute chart. Try to find a clean chart here. 10 minute uptrend going into close. Two hour chart. Two hour uptrend going into close. Remember, we got CPI coming out tomorrow at 8.30 before the market opens. So being hedged prior to that is a good idea. All right, on the daily chart, guess what? Still in a downtrend. Uh, we fill gap. We're up over the all-time high anchored VWAP. That's the pink line right here. Okay, we filled the gap right through there. And we are now approaching this trend line right there which winds up pretty much panning out for 546 let's see where we wind up tomorrow's candle about right here put us about 547 okay so 547 would be a upside target for tomorrow uh, being since we touched this twice already. So SPY still in a downtrend. We'll look at the technicals and then we'll hit the other indices. All right, so on the technicals, T2122 came out of the sell zone. Uh, we made a higher low inside the seller's chop zone. From there, we blasted up out of there into the buyer's chop zone and started to knock on the door of the buy zone up here. Okay, so nice move on T2122. T2123 uh, started out with a little green, had a little red, kind of like a fake out, and then they moved it up green all the way into the close. T2123, three bar still hovering over a flat 200 SMA on the three bar chart. We printed three more red candle bars, okay? Uh, but notice the 17 and the price action are now kind of closing in together. I hope that's a sign of things turning around. We'll see. FNGU indicator, uh, green from the very first candle to the very last candle up over the fallen 200 SMA. like to see that thing put a hook in and start curling to the upside instead of sloping to the downside. So FNGU kind of carried the market today. All right, let's go back and take a look at the other indices. And for the other indices, you can see SPY, higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap and over uh, the 17 EMA, okay? Still under the downtrend line, still in a downtrend. And it's not in a downtrend because it's under the downtrend line. It's in a downtrend because it simply hasn't broken this high right here. It needs to either make a higher low and a higher high or break the last lower high right there. So there's SPY. I'm just going to go out on a limb here like I always do every day and say QQQ and FNGU are probably going to look the same way. All right, so we hit QQQ. All right, QQQ, same thing. Closing over a bullish trap, over the 17 EMA. Got to bust out that high to be in an uptrend. Still in a downtrend. As nice as today was, we're still in a downtrend. FNGU. All right, FNGU had a nice whopper day. Same thing going on with FNGU. Higher low, higher high, closing over a bullish trap, over the 17 EMA. Got to take out this red candle high in order to be in an uptrend. Still in a downtrend. I fear tomorrow we may head back down and double bottom on this and test the lows before heading higher. That's what I fear. I actually don't even fear it. I kind of think that's what may happen. So we may hit that downtrend line that we saw in SPY in the morning and then come back down here and test this low. 
or this low right here, this breakup candle low right there. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Okay, we haven't tested too many lows, so we're kind of overdue, all right? We're overcooked, so I think after hitting that, we need to test some lows, and I don't know how far south it's going to go. Maybe to 520 again. I don't know. Maybe even through this down to 500. Not sure where it winds up tomorrow. Uh, or this week. This week. So let's take a look at IWM. All right. IWM higher low, higher high. Closing over the bearish trap under the 17 EMA. Still in a downtrend till it takes out that high. Okay. Diamond Dow. Uh, higher low, higher high, closing over bullish cross and over the 17 EMA, still in a downtrend until it takes out that high right there. So Diamond Dow still in a downtrend. Okay, SMH, same deal till we take out this high, SMH still in a downtrend. All right, so let's take a look at XLK, technology sector. Again, still in a downtrend till we take out this high. So I really feel like it's probably a good possibility we put in a higher low, all right, on a lot of these sectors like XLK and SMH, and then we put in some higher highs. That's kind of what it's looking like it may do. Unless, of course, CPI comes out tomorrow and the markets go bananas and they take out these highs. That could happen too, all right? I really think SPY is probably going to test the all-time high anchored VWAP at some point tomorrow. Maybe at the beginning of the day, maybe near the middle of the day. I think at some point it's going to test the all-time high anchored VWAP because we did spike through it today, all right, on SPY. So there's XLK. Uh, let's take a look at XRT. It's a retail sector. Again, um, not in an uptrend, in a downtrend till we take out this high right here. It's a tall order to take out that high, okay? So um, don't hold your breath. It's going to be a while, all right? There's XRT. Let's take a look at XLF. Uh, again, don't hold your breath. It's going to be a while before we take out that high. We can do it, okay? Just going to be a while, all right? So there's XLF, all right? Uh, kind of an inside day, higher low, lower high, closing over the bullish trap and over the 17 EMA. Looking like after all these days up, like we're going to probably set the higher low. I'm just preparing you for a possible rise up and pull down in the near future. We'll see. And I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen, but... It's kind of feeling that way, all right? So there's XLF. Last one is IYT. Transport's already looking like they're ready to do it, all right? Transport's putting in an outside day. That's a higher high and a lower low. Closing under the bearish trap, under the 17 EMA. Transport's still in a downtrend. So a lot of sectors still in downtrends. Oh, by the way, USO was started an uptrend yesterday with a nice close up here. We had an inside day today. Like to see a little consolidation and then another breakout to the upside. So USO is in an uptrend. They finally made it yesterday. Kind of like um, Shania Twain, looks like we made it. All right, so UNG. All right, UNG's gotta take out that high right there. UNG today doing another out, doing an outside day, higher high, lower low, closing over bullish trap over the 17 EMA. UNG trying to fight off the downtrend. It is still in a downtrend until it takes out that high right there. All right, so that's UNG in a downtrend, USO uptrend. GLD is in an uptrend. And coming dangerously close to putting in new all-time highs on GLD. Nice W pattern. Maybe a little consolidation battleground coming up over here. Could be. We'll see what happens. All right. Typical W pattern is put in a battle. And the winner of the battle emerges on the other side. So GLD is in an uptrend. Today's price action, uh, higher high and a lower, excuse me, higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap 
over the 17 EMA, GLD, still in an uptrend. Last one, SLV. SLV is in a downtrend. And SLV has put in, well, I'm just going to say a lower high and a lower low, closing over the bullish cross, but under falling 17 EMA, okay? We had a great day today in um, in the room, all right? So if you've never been in our room, this is kind of what it looks like, all right? And it's really not that messy, but let me just flip to another one real quick. You got all of my stuff on there. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like. We zoom in. We're on a five-minute or a ten-minute chart. All right, if you've never been in my room and push this over, kind of squeeze that up and you see over here all of my trades. Well, I'll put them back up just for a second, but you see all my trades. OK, you see everything that I'm trading all day long. You see my positions all day long, the winners and the losers. And I've had some bad days and I have some good days. All right. So. But you get to see it all, the good and the bad, all right? Lately, we've had some really good days, okay? So you get to see this, shows you the expiration date, shows you the price, shows you the time, shows you the product, 542 strike, okay? So you get to see all of that. And then on top of all of that, okay, I kind of help you out and hold your hand, all right? Right here. What I do is I show you, okay, this is... This is the entries. And we do 10 minute uptrend. All right. Green erases red. Okay. As soon as green erases red, that's an entry. We had the very first entry was in the pre market this morning. 535.50, first entry. Second entry, green erases red again. 536.50. Third entry, 537.55. Fourth entry. And I, I'm holding you. And not only am I holding, I'm, I'm holding your hand, but I'm telling you, hey, if you want this trade, I can't tell you what to do. Here it is. Here's my trade. I'm in it. It's up to you if you want to take it with me or you want to hold off. And I do this all day long. So you can see we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven entries. And I'm sure there was another one that I never even listed at 541.51 right there that I never even slid into because I was busy doing the thriller trade at the very end of the day right there. All right. So that's what it's like in my room, in our room. Excuse me. It's not my room. It's our room. All right. Let me tell you, it's a lot of camaraderie here. A lot of people patting each other on the back, high-fiving. I love it. You know, when somebody wins, we all win. And by the way, I don't feel like a success unless you're a success. That's the bottom line. And if you're not a success and you're in my room, you come and you get with me and we work it out. We figure it out. We'll drill down. All right. You start tr start logging your trades and we're going to figure it out so you can be a successful winner just like the others in the room. You can do it. All you have to do is commit to it. It is completely possible. All right. So. That being said, that's the end of the day for me. Uh, I got a phone call to make with one of my buddies here at 5 p.m. And I will see you all tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, CPI at 8.30. We'll do it again, all right? I'm hedged for tomorrow. Look forward to it. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Thanks, J.A. Arnaldo. Uh, Alpha Dog Robert, yep, everybody, beautiful day, great day, love it, love it, love it, love it, spy calls, somebody made 800 trading spy calls today, love that, somebody else made uh, 2,000 trading futures, love that, all right, you can trade futures, you can trade options, you can just trade shares, it doesn't matter, if you're in my room, we'll get you making money, all right, that's that's what it comes down to. Thanks, Brad. I know you had a great day. Scott B., love it. Thank you. Ron H., everybody. Everybody have a beautiful evening. Thanks for being here.